Hello, and welcome to day 248, Becoming Peace, Meditation, and Inspiration. The name of today's session is Left Behind. Have you ever felt a bit melancholy for something you don't cognitively remember? Your heart knows, though. That's why you long for the longing. Long for that place and those people you can't readily identify with human memory. Your soul remembers, and this is the cause of the melancholy. Today, we're holding space for those deja vu moments, those inklings you get when you see a complete stranger and yet feel you know them like the back of your hand. So, let's get started. Go ahead and relax and find a comfortable seat, making sure your back is supported and your feet are resting comfortably on the floor. Go ahead and release any body tension you are aware of. Make yourself comfortable and calm. Go ahead and take three deep breaths in and out as we begin and release any negative or anxious thoughts. You are safe right here. The centering thoughts for today's session come from Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, Season 2, Episode 1. The stranger giant is speaking to a small Harfoot about feeling homesick because he really can't remember at this point in the movie where he came from. The two embark on a very long journey to somewhere, but they're not sure where. A campfire conversation ensues, and here's part of the dialogue. This hard is different. It's strange how that which is left behind can be the heaviest burden to carry. I miss my home, but I don't even remember it. Sometimes I perceive a glimmer of it nonetheless. A longing for a feeling I can't remember or even name, but I know it's real, just beyond the sunset. These phrases jumped out at me as I watched the movie. I had to keep rewinding and rewinding to listen over and over again. I'm an avid Lord of the Rings fan and have enjoyed making inferences and parallel comparisons to J.R. Tolkien's characters and storylines. They really resonate with me. Ever since I can remember... There's been a longing in my heart for a far-off, distant place. A place that is my home, and yet the remembrance of all the goodness there is just beyond my grasp. I know the people there I had deep connections with, but they're faceless people 
but the heart connection is still there. How about you? Can you relate to this? It seems like the fabric of our souls can remember, but a veil of forgetfulness stops our mind from connecting to those sacred memories. And then there's those close friends you meet that you just click with. There's a connection far beyond what could be built here in mortality. They seem as if they're a part of your soul. Maybe because they are. Just like the Harfoot said, this hard is different, isn't it? This hard is something you cannot define in human words. And truly it is strange how that which is left behind can be the heaviest burden to carry. We hold on to yesterdays and past memories and experiences. And sometimes they do become the heaviest burdens we carry, even the good ones, because there's a longing. I think I am a believer in the veil of forgetfulness from one realm to another, and I believe it to be merciful by our Creator. Otherwise, we just sit around and pine for what we no longer have readily access to. The phrase, I miss my home, but I don't even remember it. Sometimes I perceive a glimmer of it nonetheless, is a somber reminder that we did indeed have a life before we came here. We had rich relationships and unbelievable experiences learning and cultivating our talents for eons of time. We're only here on earth for a few short years in comparison, but we did leave behind so many loving relationships and so much history and we will return to it again once we leave mortality. A longing for a feeling I can't remember or even name. But I know it's real, just beyond the sunset. Of course it's real, because our soul and spirit tells us so. And nothing could be more true. Today I'm going to hold space for you to just be. Sit with your heart and soul and the shroud of beautifulness within yourself. Even though you cannot define it in specific thoughts, the magic is there and your eternal existence. It's there, and it's true, and it's you. I love to believe that those that we carried deep connecting relationships with before we came here are our guardian angels here, the people who watch over us and who know us and can see us and protect us and help us along the way. I'm going to mind the time for you to process and just sit and be until you hear that soft bell.
Let's come back. Come back to this present moment and embrace and hold dear the peace and calm that's inside of you right now. Take in a deep breath and release it out through your mouth. Wiggle out your body and prepare for being in peace today, all day. Peace comes when I acknowledge I came from somewhere and I'm going back there someday. A longing for a feeling I can't remember or even name, but I know it's real just beyond the sunset. Thank you for joining me today. I hope this has been inspiring for you and giving you time to just rest and and revel in the quiet. Please consider sharing this with someone that you love. And don't forget to take in more light today than you did yesterday. Bye for now.